Ah, uh, that's Blues from a Gun, the first single taken from the new LP of the Jesus and Mary Chain, Automatic. The next single is called Head On. They have a new LP out, it's excellent, and they're on the road again to promote it, of course, by doing gigs and doing millions of interviews and meeting very boring, sarcastic, cynical journalists, as myself. And I know that it's difficult to play the game, so I told them when they came into the studio, well, guys, I don't want to talk about music, and they were very surprised by that. Why was it a shock to you when I said that I didn't want to discuss or talk about music? It wasn't, a, <coughs> it wasn't so much a shock, it's just that if we're not going to talk about music, you've got to think about what else you're going to talk about, because we're musicians, you know? Mm -hmm. If you sat a plumber down in this chair and say, we're not going to talk about plumbing, he'd be hard pushed to talk about anything. And it's, the same, I mean, no, yeah. but it's the same with musicians, everything we're all about. Is music, you know, what mm. I know, what you, the subject I know most about is music. And if you say, like, we're not going to talk about it, then you're going to have to think, well, I could have prepared something else to speak about it. So. Yeah, but in day to day life, you not go and talk about music all the time. And you do not prepare other conversations with just a friend you meet in yeah. the street or somewhere yeah, else. But, in, uh, but you, do, you don't want day to day life. You don't want me to talk about what I talk about in a, in a you know, like company of my friends, you know? I mean, maybe you personally do, but you know, like, mm -hmm. people that run this station do. Also, we, we don't really find it easy to do interviews and talk about music, let alone talk about the world in general. Okay, let's just talk. Uh huh. But if you, if it's easier, then you, <coughs> that's in fact you're playing the game then, because that comes like easy. I know what to say about this track on that side of that album, mm -hmm. because to us it meant that, and you will say that again. I could ask you that, but you will say exactly the same thing that you would have said on Sky TV, in Enemy, in Sounds, in a Swedish magazine, and that's that's more boring than a day-to-day -day conversation. Mm -hmm. But you know, the game, I mean, what is the game? Isn't MTV the game? I mean, it is, you. Yeah. Well, in that case, I mean, isn't it a bit odd that you're sitting there telling me that, you know? Like, yeah, the point is that this program is it's not, not really playing the game. It's not exactly a sat I mean, it's not exactly a satellite like arts channel, do you know what I mean? It's MTV, mm -hmm. so you saying that to me is pretty ludicrous, really. The Jesus and Mary's Chain special in the background, the track from the new LP Automatic. Our discussion about whether or not to talk about music went on for a while until they admitted, as I assumed in the first place, that talking about music in interviews is very boring. Incredibly, incredibly boring sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's okay. It's, it's, it gets to a certain stage when the record's been out, you've done so many, and just as you say, you've, mm -hmm. you've answered the same question yeah. so many times. And I, I can understand what you're saying about trying not to speak about music, and I really wish you would have, could have warned us, and we could have spoke about something else, you know? But it's just like, just to suddenly be put on the spot and say, don't talk about music, it's not that easy, you know? I mean, but I mean, I, I can understand what you're yeah. saying because, like, in, in a way, the first interview we'd done could almost have been like repeated over and over again. Yeah. Because, I mean, the, the, our attitudes haven't changed towards making music. It's a different record, but it's, it was made in the same spirit. Mm -hmm. So all of the same answers to the first interview apply to now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. April skies from the previous Jesus and Mary Chain LP released two years ago in the autumn of 1987, Darklands. The conversation with William and Jim Reed went okay after all. Probably uh, William Reed is watching the show tonight, so I hope uh, the show is not as embarrassing as the interview was, William. Sorry about that. And he said, for example, that uh, musicians are also not these kind of uh, super beings who always lead uh, a, a glamorous, out of this world lifestyle. It's not, I don't think it's a very interesting life being a musician. I really don't. It's mm -hmm. not glamorous, it's not interesting. You ask what do we do when we don't make music, and we just. Well, like everybody else, we live our yeah. life and I mean, I'll just live up the road and this is a Friday and I'd probably be shopping in Sainsbury's right now if I wasn't doing this. Uh -huh. So uh, it's it's like that. The only thing that's different is that we don't go to work from nine to five and we write songs at four in the morning or whatever. Yeah. Does it worry you a lot? The, that It's always in your head, like, what shall we do? What Do I, do I come up with something good? Is there a song in, in, in me for the, in the next following weeks? Is it, is it coming? Is it not? Is it good? It, it always worries us after we've just finished an LP because that then the well was dry and everything's, mm -hmm. you know, all the ideas we'd had for the, the two years previous have, have been realised. And um, like right now, we're thinking about the next LP and 
I have no idea what it's going yeah. to be like, no idea. There's no songs, we've, we've got a, scrap, a few scraps of ideas. But um, it will happen. I, mean, I, I don't know what it'll be like, but you know, it will happen. These things usually work out. Difficult or not, incommunicado or not, the Jesus and Mary Chain are craftspeople and they deliver the goods only when they think that the goods are ready to be delivered. They take their time. I think if, if more people spent time making albums, it, music scene would be a lot healthier. I think it's music scene's just become like um, it's, it's business. You know, it's just mm -hmm. a big business. It, more so now than ever. People have said that during punk times and all that, but it really has become like that now. I mean, mm -hmm. you take a yeah, you, know, you get a group like uh, Bon Jovi, and, and yeah, you know, that's not a rock and roll group. That, that's a that's a bunch of like accountants, like wearing tight trousers, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's got nothing to do with what we do. And it's just like you have to churn the record out one album a year. You make X amount a million dollars, and it's a, it's a sin. It's a shame. It's you know, it's totally destroyed the the whole music scene. It's it's only bon Jovi does, yeah. down, not just yeah. Bon Jovi. It's mm -hmm. like you got all these groups that. They just got their deal last week and they just want to be Bon Jovi or whatever. It's, it's pretty sad. It's, really it's, 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 I don't know. I don't, I, I don't really think in terms of rock and roll anyway. Mm. You know, when I write a song, I don't you know, sit down and you know, put my rock and roll hat on. You know, I just, mm. songs just come and... Also, you know, I, I don't like talking about rock and roll because it's become such a stupid thing these days. You know, it's mm. like, somehow you, you feel you feel unwilling to be associated with it. You know, if anybody asks you what, what kind of band are you, and you say a rock and roll group, you know, you, you know what they're thinking. You know, they're thinking you know, you're like yeah, yeah, and yeah. intellectually inferior, and you know, like. I don't know, I just... I want my baby back. I don't like rock, I don't like the... I don't like what rock and roll has, has become. I, I, the byword for rock and roll really is dumbness these days. Dumbness on money or whatever. Business. Yeah, business. I mean, I think... If I wanted, you know, like, to, to be respected as, as to, for my work, I, I should have become a, a, a novelist. Or, Mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, those people tend to, because it's, it's less of a de degrading job. You know, what we do, I don't think it's degrading or, or mm -hmm. you know, inferior, you know, but 99% of it is, and, you know, people just tend to judge us by that 99%. So, uh, you know, sometimes we're, ash we're ashamed to admit what we do. Well, they shouldn't be ashamed to admit what they're doing because this album is very good. Every house should have one. That was the Jesus and Mary Chain special. Two more specials to come to 91 on the 20 minutes. We have live in the studio D Hypnotics and at the end of the show, The Creatures. And after the break, Dima Mamatov, a Russian TV presenter.